and you begin to accept and surrender. And the mind becomes more quiet, more quiet. And as the mind becomes quiet, your heart opens up and you start to feel the bliss and the joy of being alive and being in this body and being at this time in the world. And there may be a lot, there's sufferings, there's turmoil, there's all kinds of stories happening, but the deep inside, you are the Buddha. You have a smile, you're sitting there while everyone's panicking and running around and banging their heads against the walls and falling down unconscious. You're just sitting there silent, quietly, and you have a smile and you feel the bliss. And you don't have to feel guilty because you feel that way, because you have come to wisdom. Don't think like if you come to that place means like you're not caring. You are. But what can you do? People around you are ignorant and they're in sleep. And you try to wake them up, but it's not your job. They wake up when they're ready. So sometimes you're trying to share this with them and they tell you you're crazy. You're not worried. How come you're not worried? You're so indifferent. You, you have no compassion. You have no feelings for other people. That, that doesn't mean that. Of course you do. But it's not your place to try to, you tried a little bit to wake him up. They're not ready to hear you. Is this making any sense to anybody? You have any questions? Yeah. Any comments, questions by anyone? Don't be shy. Don't be afraid of me. I'm not going to bite you. I'm going to just take a look at, see what's going on on YouTube. And um, if we have any questions there on our viewers on YouTube. I mean, um, those of you who are new with me and uh, it's the first time, I pretty much communicate with our viewers on Zoom. Um, it's difficult for me to communicate on different platforms. Uh, sometimes there aren't many questions, so I can just check things out. Um, but it's not very easy. So it's much easier if you go to my website, zaratustra.tv, and sign up at the academy. You go to, and then, uh, come to our system on, on Zoom and, and then we can converse with each other. It's a lot easier for me. Uh, if you wanna to talk to me, you can either unmute yourself and ask me your question or wave at me or write something on the chat box and uh, then we communicate. Hi Candice, go ahead and Hi. Yeah. All right. I just want to thank you for, for your teaching. It's, it's right on. It, it's very reassuring to me. You know, I try to watch so many things on YouTube and, and it sounds really good for a while. And then they get into talking about how we can create our reality. And it just is flustered. I get flustered. <laughs> so I like 
being reassured <laughs> by you. So so, thank well, you. yeah, it, and you know, it's first of all, I'm I'm glad it's yeah, it sounds so good. This whole thing about it's so appealing because it brings you into this place that you are co-creator, you're partners with God, and it's such a it appears to be so empowering, this whole idea. Oh wow, I'm I am co-creator with God. And uh and I'm gonna be in this partnership with God and save the planet and fix things on the planet. But mostly, quietly, I'm going to get whatever I want. <laughs> no, I like your teaching way better. <laughs> <laughs> so if you look at it, underneath is comes a selfish thing. First, I want to get everything I want in this co-creating with God. It's another trick by the ego because it's always me. You know, as long as I get what I want, who, who gives a shit about anyone else? I mean, yeah, I'll pray for other people too. So I don't appear to be selfish. But first, let me get what I want. Examine it for yourself. Examine it for yourself. Don't, don't believe what I'm telling you. Just pay attention to your own mind and see if you go deep inside, you will see it's always you first. It's never someone else. It always starts with you. Then it's maybe someone else, maybe whatever that is. It's never someone else. Down deep. Uh, Shadijan, you can unmute yourself. Hi. Um, I just have um, a question and hopefully you could clarify it. Um, you know how you say the mind, there's the mind and then there's the grace. And sometimes it's like, there's certain messages or wisdom that comes through. And at times there's a doubt because then you think it's the mind, but then it might be a message or the grace coming through. So how do you dif differentiate between that? Like there's times that I know it's, it's not the mind because it's not the regular way of thinking that right. it could be the mind. Right. Yeah, it's um, it's it's very difficult to explain it how, um, but somehow as you go forward, there is a knowing that you know the difference. Yeah, you know, that's it's how very it's good. there's a knowing, but then sometimes, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's very, very difficult to say, because if I start explaining this, then it becomes very mindy. Okay, which voice is, is the mind? Which voice is God or the, you, you understand what I'm saying? It's, yeah, no, I get it. I just want to right. it's so almost, don't think I'm going crazy, but then I'm like, okay, well, maybe because you touched on it a little bit today. So anyway, right. I get what yeah. you're saying. It's, it's something that's hard to explain. Obviously, I, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like your deep knowing of things. Um, just, you know, something. And you just know it. There's no way you can explain it, but you just know things. 